Munich will long be remembered as the gateway to a new home. Germany's embrace is open wide, 40,000 in just one week. For both host and refugees, this will be transformative. For now, though, it's about the practicalities. A long rest after a long journey. I'm tired. I'm very tired. Hussein Ahmed remembers that feeling well. A year and a half ago, he made the same journey in far less welcoming times. Today, it's he welcoming his wife and kids. They've come all the way from Raqqa in Syria, the seat of ISIS, the group that twice imprisoned Ahmed. The family sold everything to get out. I'm very, very happy. My family has reached me. Thank God, he says. I thank the German government. These arrivals are actually among the lucky ones. They've come here from Austria on a day when the rail links have been cut between Hungary and Austria. And so they have made it, but many others will not today. Promised a train out of Hungary and let down, hundreds once again took to walking. With the numbers suddenly bulging to 8,000 in one day, Austria struggled. So did they. A tough journey, again made tougher. So Munich, once they get here, is a relief. Orderly registration, medical help, so many donations, they are now turned away. But it's challenging moving and housing so many new people. Especially when some would rather just melt away, like this woman. Apparently, some try to escape daily. For Germany, such a huge influx so quickly will be a test of tolerance. For the politics, it will be very hard to convince the population not to be against the refugees. The Ahmeds are given permission to leave together. Once a sea in several countries apart, a new life now in an unfamiliar, willing city. Nala Ayed, CBC News, Munich.